How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with a video and uh in my I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on with the coronavirus in my area around me. And uh I do have a little video clip here I want to show you of one of the Walmart stores. Now I'm in southwestern PA. Uh, I'm really close to the West Virginia border, so most of my shopping I do in West Virginia. And this is a Walmart on Grafton Road. And I'm going to show you a little clip of uh, what the stores are looking like around here. How you doing, everyone? It's Kevin. I'm at Walmart, and we have the Corona virus, and people are just going nuts over the food. But I mean, there's still some food here, but not a lot. It's something fun. They're not completely bare, but I would say by the afternoon, when everybody casts their checks, everything in here will be gone, I'll bet you. Most of it will be gone. Green beans or anything? There's no flour. All gone. Yeah. You said you needed baking powder, right? For baking soda? There's Not some rising flour. I don't know. Where? No, but you can grab a bag. <clears throat> That's the bread owl. This one down here? Hey, Jill, here. As you can see, there's not much left in the stores. And I'm sure by the time, now that was pretty early, but by the time people get off work and get in there, there's not going to be a lot of food left. Um, the coronavirus, you know, I, I, I don't know much about it, but uh, it has uh, been a pretty good scare for people. And, uh, is it as big a scare as um, they make it out to be? And that, I don't know. I mean, when I see people cleaning all the shelves off like they are, it makes me wonder, you know, what's going on. Uh, but, and, I, and I'm only telling you my thoughts on this only. Uh, and 
I would like for you guys to either make me a video or give me your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about what is going on? If you would, please. Uh, so people can maybe give some people comfort, maybe. I don't know. But I don't know if there is anything such thing as comfort in a situation like this. But uh, you hear so many different stories. You, you watch the news, you, you know, and you hear a lot of different stories. And a lot of them don't work out you know what I mean it's just like they say one thing then they say something else and you know I did hear that it stays on uh, in the air if somebody was to cough in one area or cough somewhere or sneeze it's going to stay there it's going to linger for three hours I don't know that for sure that's just what I heard and for like on plastic and stuff it'll stay on there for days but you know I need to say something because uh, this year in uh, January I had gotten sick and uh, I, I had never felt uh, like that before in my life I ended up with a uh, I had a nasal infection my uh, throat was infected uh, my ears were both infected and it, it was rough and I, I told my wife I said honey I said I've never been this sick in my life I don't understand what kind of sickness this is and it lingered on it seemed like it lingered on for a long time and then uh, they were giving me antibiotics and uh, that stuff just wasn't working and then they started me on uh, steroids and uh, eventually it went away uh, I felt better after starting to take the steroids but now I've even heard stories that this coronavirus has been here uh, we just didn't know it it's been here they weren't testing for it so how would they know if it hadn't been here already and did I have the coronavirus I don't know, you know, I'm not making this story up. This is my story about the coronavirus. And uh, I just wonder if, you know, them putting it on the news and stuff, it just made everybody go crazy. Uh, you know, that's just my thoughts. And I'm not saying I'm right about anything. I'm just uh, trying to give you what uh, kind of... Uh, what I'm going through here in this area here it seems like a lot of people are getting pretty excited and uh, they're buying up a lot of food and toilet paper uh, I don't understand the toilet paper thing uh, 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 what what is up with the toilet paper why do you need so much toilet paper uh, we went through uh, that Walmart store there and there was no absolutely no toilet paper no tissues uh, no paper towels and uh, my son was at a couple other stores and uh, didn't get any and we eventually we needed some toilet paper I mean we needed some because we were about out and uh, we ended up going to a dollar store so the dollar store had toilet paper uh, they weren't sold out of it so it was a good place for us to <laughs> get some toilet paper so if you're going to these big stores a lot of people are going to go to them uh, Obviously, they haven't thought about going to the small stores, like the dollar stores and maybe Dollar General or whatever they are. So maybe if you need some toilet paper, maybe try one of them. You might be able to get it. So I'm hoping that, you know, if you have enough food on hand to last you, you know, at least ways a couple weeks or whatever, hopefully this stuff will die down and everybody will relax a little bit. But right now, I think maybe we're just a little too excited about what it is um, I do understand that it doesn't really affect the young kids as bad they have a pretty good immune system and it, but it does affect the elderly so uh, really bad for the elderly but if I had the corona disease and I have no clue whether I did or not I can tell you it's not a fun thing to go through because uh, it was very very rough but I'm okay uh, 
the steroids helped me and uh, I'm all right. So this is just my thoughts on the coronavirus and uh, what's going on here in my area. So like I said, if any of you guys out there want to make a video and uh, or you would like to uh, leave in the comments what it's like in your area, what's going on in your area, how are people acting? Uh, I talked to uh, Daryl Stokes, and he's one of my YouTube buddies, and he said in his area, they, they're literally fighting, uh, fighting over toilet paper. Uh, you know, when I was a kid, I never, we never had toilet paper. Uh, we used newspaper. <laughs> I mean, I'll get the Sunday paper if I have to, and we'll just crumble it up, and we'll use it if we have to. And uh, that's that's the thing, you know. I anyhow, uh, guys, don't be fighting over stuff out there. This is a time we know how to come together, not push each other apart. So that's my thoughts on the coronavirus. Uh, I would like to tell you guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to leave me a comment, give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Hey, till next time.